Hi everyone, my name is Oyanga Batbo. Today I went to Beaver Harbor with Mr. Ralph Toms who is directing the Black Historic Association in New Brunswick. And we're going to go down this morning and meet with uh, Jimmy Hawkins. Jimmy Hawkins is the creator of the uh, history uh, archives down in Beaver Harbor. Beaver Harbor is an fishing village in the parish of Penfield, Charlotte County, New Brunswick, Canada. This is Beaver Harbor Museum and Archives. Today I meet Mr. Jim Hawkins and Florence, Hawkins his wife. They worked very hard to collect all the material. The black history in Beaver Harbor. Mm -hmm. So yeah. let's go up and see if we can. Yeah, let's go up. Find this is the Archivist and Community Center. Can you explain us uh, about Beaver Harbor and how did you meet with Ralph Thomas? Well, I was looking for black history and I was sitting in the hospital. He was waiting for his wife and I was waiting for my wife. And by and by, he was sitting there all alone and I was sitting there all alone. So I walked over and I said, was you born in St. John? Because I know if he was born in Jamaica somewhere, he wouldn't know the history I was looking for. Yeah, yeah. He said, yes, matter of fact, it was. Mm -hmm. So we talked. I'd give him one of my cards. And we didn't say too much right then. And about two or three months later, the phone rang. He said, I want to come down. Mm -hmm. So down he come. And he brought uh, Deborah Coleman with you. And I give her that book. And she, we just got to have this book. We just got to have it. And she said, and that's the way she talked. We just gotta have this book. I said, okay. And she still got it. <laughs> she still got a book. And I got that one ain't gonna go nowhere. <laughs> You and I met really in the hospital. Yeah, we did. Yeah. We met in the hospital. I think you were in the hospital, Florence, for a checkup. My wife was in the hospital for a checkup, and somebody was talking to me about yeah. Woola Grove, which is another end yeah. of the the area here. And uh, when they left, Jimmy came over and said, "Do you know anything about Black History?" And I said, "Well, I only know a little bit, and I still only know a little bit about the Black History because I'm busy now trying to collect the information." Right. Right. And uh, I said to Jimmy, oh, I said, well, where are you from? And Jimmy said, well, I'm from Beaver Harbor. I said, oh, gee, I, I always heard that there was a sign up that said, yeah. no slave owners allowed. And uh, Jimmy said, I just live next door to that. Yeah. And that's how our uh, coming together yeah. happened. And uh, it was, you know, it's so rewarding. And four years later, look at the history that this man here and this woman here have put together for, to keep our history. My mother was in the genealogy, you know, basically. And uh, this was an old army camp building here that the Anglican Church had used for a Sunday school after the war. But then it got so they, they sanded the roads and plowed the roads and people bought cars. So they went to the Anglican Church up the road further. And this just sat here going to pieces. So we took it over for a community hall. And then the basement was sitting here empty, so I thought, well, this is a good chance to collect the tired archives here. So I did. Well, when people found out I was collecting, 
Then they love them, then they call them and say, come get this, come get that. And there's a little high chair a girl gave me over there that I went to school with. That's over, way over 100 year old. And she called me to clean up the monk and somebody come get it. So, yeah, that's what I kept doing, yeah. yeah. pretty good writers you can see and she wrote when I told her all the stuff up mm -hmm. that's what we started with and then we kept progress going along and uh, then I had a student here and she would go to teachers college but she worked for me when she didn't have any courses and she put everything in these books so you just read on these books what tell you what's in this binder and we had a lot of stuff over here about our war veterans mm -hmm. A lot of stuff. I have stuff. Yeah. How how many years did you spend collect them for your museum? Oh, been ten years now. Collecting ten years stuff. now. Yeah. 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 Oh, my brother's holding that little dog. This is, remember the first meeting? Yep. Jim, that we had? It was just, oh, yeah. It was you and I first. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Debbie came along and uh, right. brought us up the history with the Quakers and things like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that was great, great stuff, really. Yeah. Okay. This is a replica of the first meeting house, they call it meeting house, churches today. It was a little bit bigger than this one, and I took up the history book I had and had this built. Had a fellow help me build it, the roof of it. We built over there on a cement because it, us old fellows couldn't get up shingle stuff on these big buildings. So we built it way over there on that cement pad, and my brother-in-law, my son-in-law rather, he set it on with his boom truck, and uh, yeah, we rigged it up, got them old pews, the old church used to be here, and this is Ralph and all these folks are here, Florence, see, that's my mother over there, tells a story about my mother when he put that up, and that's a picture, replica of the old camel, an old British warship, 
that came up and it wasn't very pleasant. There was four or five little babies born on that trip up from New York. And yeah, so that's what we, the wood stove, they had a wood stove. And they would have a place outside to tie the horses because a lot of people would come on a Sunday in the winter time, especially cold day. They would come in a horse and sleigh. Because this is the stone that like started everything with the memory. Well, this stone here, my mother had put that there. They had a wooden thing there. And she knew that would roll away, so there's lots of granite in this area. So she got a big truck mm -hmm. and had this stone wood here along with the Charlotte County Historical Society. And then uh, a few years ago, why there's a gentleman donated all that stone down there too. This is some of the history, like, you know, Penfield is, is known for uh, an airport. Everybody thinks of Penfield sometimes above the, the Air Force. It was an Air Force base and planes used to land. But the Quakers were one of the first people in this area to live with black folks in harmony. So that's why I'm here today, because as most of you un know and understand that I'm really interested in finding the black history in the province of New Brunswick. In this area, as you see, it's a quite a straight line. It could have even been this highway. I don't know for sure, but due to the fact today that we're looking for the history of uh, Beaver Harbor, who knows really back in those times whether that was set or it wasn't. So this is the memorial to the Quakers that moved to this area. Thank you for watching our video. I hope you have learned something about Beaver Harbor. Thank you.